Hey, how's it going? My name's Nitrix, and welcome to Let's Play Minecraft Episode 10. Now, before we get started, I would like to thank all the people who came out to play on Wednesday. It was a lot of fun, and basically, I have one person to thank in particular, Garrett Harp, or Magic the Man. He left a really funny comment, a really funny sign in my house. So thank you for that. I'll show the sign right now. And, um, yeah, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to head down to the cave. Let's go check that out. We haven't been here in a while. Ah, I still have to do this flooring, but I've been kind of, I've been kind of lazy with this cave. I've been doing other stuff, but today we're going to work on it. So my plan for today is to make a pumpkin farm because I wanted to keep all the farms downstairs. As I said, although the animal farms doesn't really make sense to keep the animals underground, so I'm going to keep them above ground. But pumpkin farm downstairs makes perfect sense to me, at least. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Here, um, I have all the stuff already. And basically, I just want to count this out real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm going for uh, 15. I think 15 is a good number, so that'll be 15 on each side. That'll be 30 in total, so 12 is right there. This is going to be 13 and 14. And then this design for the pumpkin farm is pretty common, actually. I've seen it quite a bit, but uh, I really like it. I think it's efficient, and it's automatic. gets the job done, easy to use. That's what's important at the end of the day, so I'm going to be using it here, too. So I used some sticky pistons, some dirt, as you guys will see. Oh, and you know what I forgot? I forgot to bring the pumpkin seeds. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll bring those in a sec. So I'm going to need to dig due to two down here because the dirt is going to be on this block, meaning the piston should be on that block and the redstone should be under that. So I have to dig down two actually here on both sides. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some repeaters here. And this will all make sense in a sec. Bear with me, guys. Uh, where are the repeaters? Here they are. Repeaters facing this way. And then the piston will go there. It'll push it up. Yeah, that makes sense, I think. We'll see in a sec. OK, so we have the repeaters on this side. And then we need pistons, which we have to have a certain orientation to put down. And I think it's going to be pretty hard to put them down from here. I'm going to need some blocks on the side. There we go. Now it'll be easier. Just like that. And I'm going to need a whole bunch of these. I have to take this off. So, oh, god damn it, no. Uh, I don't need it like that. <laughs> It's getting kind of dark in here, actually. I'm afraid that there's going to be some creepers that come and kill me. Hopefully not. Okay, one, two, three, four. I don't know why I'm counting. I already counted before. Uh, all the way to the end. And this will make sense in a sec. Basically, pumpkins are going to be here. And then they're going to be pushed up by the pistons. And when they're pushed up by the pistons... Then the pumpkins will come off, and then I'll have redstone, and it'll be easy and cool. Trust me, <laughs> not gonna be gonna be exactly how I want it. Hopefully, unless I screwed up my uh, planning, but I don't think I did. Hopefully, I didn't. Mm, yeah, I'll put the pressure plates outside. These need to be here. So I'll actually put these. Am I putting these in the right spot? Yeah, I am. Perfect. All right, sorry about that, guys. There was a little interruption. My sister needed some help with something. But anyways, so we're going to put these pistons on this side, and then it'll make this a little bit easier because I don't have to <laughs> have trouble putting these pistons down. Put the repeaters here, and I'm actually going to need another block's width on this side. But, oh, that's not what I wanted. Very bad at this, as you can tell. Mm -mm -mm. Cross here. Ah, uh, no, there we go, and there we go, perfect, okay, so now we have that on both sides, and 
there, it's gonna go there, but first we need redstone on both sides. So I have to break through this wall actually too. Just like that, and I'm gonna put redstone there and hook that up to some pressure plates. Nice. Where's my redstone? There's my redstone. Sweet. Okay, we'll put these on this side too. And then, that'll be basically it. Except not quite. <laughs> we still have a lot more to do, but this is, this is not going to be too long an episode. I'm going to not make any edits because some people don't like edits too much because it takes away a little bit from the video. So, this isn't too hard of a project. Not too much uh, boring things to do. Not too much breaking and and putting down repetitive blocks. So, I thought, you know, don't need any edits for today. Okay, there we go. Uh, 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 perfect. Now we'll just break through. Yep, that looks good. We'll break through the floor here. I'll put the floor back, don't worry, guys. Just like that. Oh, shoot! Oh, no! That scared me. <laughs> that scared me a lot. <laughs> Was not expecting that guy. Where did he come from? Okay. And then we'll have the floor there. And that'll be activated. It'll. It'll make sense. Mm, uh, my only problem is, does it reach all 15 of these blocks? I don't think it does. Let's see. Put a redstone torch here, because I can put a repeater there. So Let's see how this works. Put a redstone torch here. Are all of them activated? Not the last one. Not the last one. So I need to put a redstone torch here for even the last one to be activated. Okay, so that means I'll have to go through the, through here a little bit. Mm, redstone. Take the torch here. Redstone, where's my repeaters now? God damn it, I always take out the wrong thing. Where are they? Oh, they're on the ground. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Can't have them on the ground. Okay, I'll put this... Mm, mm, I'll make it go around like that, and then I'll put a repeater right there. And then that'll be repeated. So if I put a redstone current here, all of them are up. There we go, that's exactly what we need. Now we just have to do the same thing on the other side. So, oh, what did I do? Broke through here. Got my dirt blocks. Redstone, 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 and the repeater. Right there. Lovely. And now, see what happens is I activate these pressure plates. These come up and break the pumpkins. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill it in with dirt because that is kind of boring. So I will wait one edit. Fill it in with dirt. Fill this in with stone. And get some pumpkin seeds. So I'll be back in a sec. Alrighty, we are back. And as you may be able to tell, this is fully functional now. And I actually raised this pathway up one. And I'll explain why right now I have to fill this in still with stone. Like so. Um, basically, uh, when these come up, these are going to stay on the ground because that's where the pumpkins are. But because of this, I can put glass one block above. And then the pumpkins that come out will always go towards the center. If this was one block lower, then I wouldn't be able to put the glass right above. I'd put the glass here, but the pumpkins would be able to go on either side, and then they'd be a lot harder to collect. I sort of noticed that halfway through, so I decided to raise the pathway up by one. Actually, let me break this real quick here. And I'm actually... I actually also remember that I need water, which I totally forgot, so I made an extra little trough on both sides. I'm going to fill that up with water, because I prepared an infinite water source, and I'll be back in a sec. All right, perfect. So the water is now filled in, and I'm going to show you guys how this works. Oh, whoops. So first, I got to till all of this land on this side, and now that the water's there, it'll be fine. Put some pumpkin seeds in on this side. Now I got to do the same thing on the other side. So till here, all the way across, and I'm going to put pumpkin seeds in there too. And then I brought a fruit bone meal, even though I haven't killed too many skeletons. So I don't have too many bones, but I did bring some bone meal so I can show you guys how this works. First, I'm going to put the glass on the side. So I don't accidentally step on this ever. So we'll put glass along here. Like so. Oh. Whoops. 
these. And now I'll put glass on the other side too. Exact same way. And I like seeing the water. I like I think it's pretty cool, so I'll probably keep it like this. Although I can change that after. Exactly like this. So I can step in here if I want to, although there's no real need. And then I will use some bone meal to show you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah, I didn't know that I can't make the pumpkin fully grow out. I can just make this grow. Okay, I'll be back when some pumpkins have grown out so I can show you guys. Alrighty, so we finally have some pumpkins that have grown here. And I'll show you how it works. So I step over these pressure plates. Pumpkins jump up. And I can collect them. I don't know where the other two went. Oh, there they are. And basically, that's how I collect them. See, the only problem with this design now is that when I walk over these, I want these to stay up so that they're easy to collect. So what I might do is I might make a certain type of redstone contraption called a, a RS Norlatch that basically keep these, keep these, uh, keeps these uh, dirt blocks up until I walk out, and then it puts them down so that I can collect all the pumpkins in one go. However, I haven't made that yet. For now, I'm going to have to walk along the sides here and make sure that I got all of them. But I might make that before the next episode, and I'll definitely show you guys how it works. Now, let me take you... Actually, let me let me add a little more design here. This looks kind of ugly. Maybe I should put some orange around here to show that it's a my pumpkin farm. Huh? What do you guys think? Maybe, maybe put a little bit... Maybe the pathway should be orange, actually, now that I think about it. I haven't really thought about this too much. But it, but it has to have a little bit of orange. I mean, what kind of pumpkin farm would it be yeah that looks pretty cool i think this actually is the ceiling of the other place so i can't really go too far into there but i can even put some orange down uh into the entrance here like so and then it's kind of like a symbol that this is a pumpkin farm i don't know i think it looks pretty cool so i'll probably leave that now that I'm done with that, I'll take you guys up top and I'll show you a couple of things I did before we end the episode. Alrighty, so one of the things that I did was I fixed the flooring here and I know that I collected sandstone a while back. I've been wanting to use it and I haven't gotten the chance. So I think the sandstone here looks, looks absolutely brilliant. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it looks very awesome. So I'll keep that there, and I also added windows because it was a little bit depressing in here without windows. So I put some windows, but obviously you can't have glass windows in a barn because it's supposed to have an outdoorsy feel. So I put fences. Fence uh, is in the holes. So yeah, that's what I added here. Now moving on to over here, I changed the carpet to put blue, light blue and dark blue carpet on the sides. And under here, I'm going to be hiding lighting just like that. I have a few of those. I don't know exactly uh, where I'm going to put them, but randomly to make sure this is lit up. I still haven't done the ceiling here, but I should be finished that for the next episode. And yeah, I think that's all. Also, this, I finished this wall finally. So I'm still not sure what the roof for this will be, but I like the vine at the front and the whole design. Uh, it looks pretty cool actually in here, but I'm not sure if I should have like multiple floors for this farm. And I also learned that this type of tree, which I hadn't used since the patch a long time ago, actually needs four of these to grow. So I have to figure out how I'm going to do that in here too. That's why I'm thinking I might need a second floor for all the types of trees that I'm going to have. Other than that, guys, if you like the video, make sure you click the like button. It only two, takes two seconds and it helps me out a huge amount. And also, if you want to see more, click the sub button. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. yes! Ah! Uh! <laughs> Imagine your parents walking in on this. <laughs>